Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. You could also know me as a hero or Ryan when I'm the right. And I'm gonna do some tutorials on LuisCG and I pretend I'm uploading them every Saturday, Sunday or so, depends on how things go. I have made some content on LuisCG before, such as Unstable and Unimaginable Power, and I am currently producing Magnificent and Ancient Record, and also some other small scripts, so I guess I can say that I have at least some knowledge on it, <laughs> lol. So basically, as I said, I should upload every weekend or so, and never the tutorial section part will be focused around a certain subject of the engine, or how to use it. I'm not gonna go deep in this because I want to explain more and you see if you will get engaged or not. I'm just saying this a bit ahead, but yes, I pretend I'm leaving the project file on each tutorial in the description so you can take a look at it in case you get stuck or stuff, you know? To get LuisDG is really simple, yeah, I'll leave the main page of the LuisDG wiki in the description and, all the, and also the download page of LuisDG as well so that you can get it. We're gonna be using Lua for Windows, Sharp Editor, and Lua CG EX Plus, so get them. Um, I'm gonna explain what those are now. Anyway, let's start talking about Lua CG history, shall we? Um, it basically, basically started on 2011 by a guy called Table in the Neighborhood, I think, and there's, there's a list on the screen describing each developer, as you can see. So, we have Lua CG by that table guy, then we have Lua CG Boost by someone, I can't get an accurate translation, so I prefer not saying her name. Then we got Lua CG Plus by Nainchu, and it's one of the most famous ones, and I think the most used so far, but it's not the best one. Later we have Lua CG EX Plus by Xbo Coop, but it's currently maintained by OLC and Zili Yusha, sorry if I butchered the name. And the latest, but not complete yet, at least in the time of this recording, is Louis C. G. X. Blaze Rising. Now, sorry again for the pronunciation. Anyway, it's important that I mention this because some features are handled differently in each version, and it might not be compatible between themselves, even if they have the same base. So make sure, for example, when you download a game or a script that doesn't have Louis C. G. itself bundled with it. Uh, that you put it on the correct version, just like you would do with, for example, Damakufu 0.12m or PH3. In case you're a more skilled programmer, the LuisCG engines are open source, so if you want to create a fork or so, or add some stuff for yourself, I guess you can do that. There's also two different versions of the LuisCG editor, which is a, a GUI, a graphical user interface, which is incidentally what we're gonna use, of which there's the WX Lua version of it and a Sharp version. I'm not gonna go in details, but overall the Sharp version is superior, so that's why I'm, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so what about we start with some basic concepts? I'll be using a lot of terms that you must know when you're using the LuisCG editor, okay? So basically, the editor works in a measurement field, and inside this field there will be nodes, of which can be parents or children. A parent is when a node kind of hosts another node inside of it, and a child is a node that is hosted on a parent. An example to this, for example, is a repeat node being the parent of a shoot simple bullet node, I think. And in this case, a parent will have the job of repeating the action of shooting the bullet in a given interval. And the child's role is to commit the action. There are many nodes that can be used, and you can also create some nodes by yourself, but I'm not going to explain how yet. Those nodes are all separated between tabs and basically categories um, that group nodes that are similar to themselves, you know. There are also some shortcuts you should use that I'll mention later that can also help a lot in your project. For example, Ctrl Z, which will undo something that you did inside the random field, which will happen a lot. I, I can tell you that. Every node can have a property to it, and you can alter said property in the parameter list in the left side of the screen. For example, this is a boss create node, and there's two properties that you can change on it, which is the name of the boss and if the stage has to wait for the boss to be defeated to proceed, you know? You can add all these nodes using the insert functions, such as insert after, before, as child, or as parent. You just have to select them and then create the node that you want. Remember that some nodes need a specific parent to be created, so not all nodes can be used in whatever place, you know? It's a rule. I think this is all. In case there's more stuff that I forgot, I will mention it in the next tutorial. This was an introduction video, so don't worry, we're really gonna put our hands in action in the next video. For now, this is all that I'm gonna tell. Thanks for watching. I hope you get interested in the engine and move together 
with me on in these tutorials. I didn't say a lot in this video, but I just wanted to to have something out already and uh, link and tell people what Louis G is really is about. But I promise that later we're gonna do something really cool in the engine and you're gonna get skilled on it. Really. It's not that hard to use this engine compared to other alternatives. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.